Good evening. This talk is called Why We Can't Have Nice Things, but it's about East Const. <laughs> uh, so those of you who haven't heard the term, it's not surprising. It was only coined the end of last year by Simon Brand, also known as the Tartan Lama. He said, tag yourself, are you West Const or East Const? Where West Const means you put Const before your, what you're declar declaring Const, and East Const means you put Const after that. But it's, it's not a new concept. Dan Sachs has been writing about this since the mid-90s, and in this talk, I'm not going to give you all the reasons for East Const, I'm just going to touch on some of them. Um, it's sometimes called consistent const, but the rule is um, const applies to what's on its left, unless there is nothing on its left, and then it applies to what's on its right. That's, that's the, the rule from C and C++. But not in my code. In my code, the rule is const applies to what's on its left, full stop, because I follow East Const and therefore use this way of approaching. Now, some people have said to me when I talk about this, they say, wait a minute, I want to read this as an adjective followed by noun. I want to read it as const int, and this is going to be backwards. And the, the problem with that is the assumption is that we read declarations from left to right as we read English language, but that's not the language rules. The language rules say that we actually read declarations inside out and right to left, or some people de describe it as a spiral. So let's take a look at this. This is actually declaring fn to be a pointer to a function that takes an int and returns a void. So we're reading it inside out and right to left. Uh, so this is a uh, reference to an array of three longs. Again, reading inside out and right to left. And then this is a uh, pc is a, a, a constant pointer to care, reading again right to left. Um, and so if, if you wanted to have a, a, a pointer that is a constant pointer to constant care, notice with east const, it reads properly. Um, and then this, of course, is a reference to a constant, always reading right to left. And so east const makes these things read properly. Uh, sorry. Um, in this case, we have, uh, again, what I talked about before, there are some times when the, the language requires that we be East Const. And um, this is a, uh, uh, it has to be whether, whether you want to be East Const consistently or not, this has to be East Const because uh, we are saying that the pointer is Const. If you put the Const on the, other, on the other side of this, it would be the care that's Const, not the pointer. And if you have a constant member function, of course, the Const follows the declaration of the member. Um, there may be situations, if you're not using these cons consistently, you might be confused by things. If you ever saw this and you were not using these cons, you might be confused. Well, is it the point of this cons or is it the character of this cons? Um, and when we have a, a, a common type alias, which in this case we're making a type alias for a widget pointer, if you're consistently not using these cons, you might write something like this, being confused, no one in this room would, but someone reading your code might be confused and think that what's cons here is the widget because you're just taking a mental substitution of this into there and saying, what would I get if I put const on the, on the left of that? But of course, what we really know is that it's really the pointer that's const and not the widget. So I wrote a blog post about this called A, Fool a Foolish Consistency, because in my career, I've run into this a few times where I've uh, read something or, or, or come across some idea about a better way of writing code. And so when I propose this, what happens is the response is always, well, we can't do that. And the reason we can't do that is because we have several million lines of code that don't work that way. And we want to be consistent. And I think this is a way of, uh, of locking ourselves out of the ability to improve code. Uh, and so one of the arguments that we see also, and that's kind of what triggered the, the blog post, was this is from the core guidelines. And it was pointed out to me on Twitter, on Twitter that the core guidelines actually say you should not use, they don't use the term, but they say you should not use uh, East Cons, even though they explain that it, it's actually arguably more logical to use East Const. Well, why not use it? Well, they're hiding behind the children here. They say uh, novices relying on teaching material using the far more, more common might be confused. So let's be clear here. If we had bad teaching materials, rather than fix the teaching materials, we should condemn the rest of the industry to use a less logical way of writing code. I just think that's inexcusable. But I also find it's interesting, uh, for, the code, for the code guidelines, there's, a, um, there's an enforcement. How is this going to be enforced? They say we should flag const anytime time it's used as a suffix. But look at this. In their, in their example, const, of course, is used as a suffix because in the case of pointers, it has to be. So um, this is why we can't have nice things. 
If you have to remain consistent with the past, you can never improve. So I'm gonna encourage you to join the revolution. And uh, I have plenty of bands to give away for anyone wants. And then sign the petition for constant consistency. So thank you very much.